stiff. <laughs> You might listen. Oh, he's fearsome, all right, but not fearsome enough. <laughs> I need more power. More power? But magnificent master, you already are the most powerful wizard that ever existed. <laughs> One of the most powerful, you rattle brain. There was another wizard who might have been my equal in power. Merlin! Merlin the magician? But master, he lived back in King Arthur's time. Yes, but still, I want his powers. Added to mine, they would make me the greatest wizard of all time. So pull yourself together, scared stiff. I've got a job for you. I'm sending you and Haunter back to King Arthur's time. I want you to capture Merlin and bring him to me. Tonight, Jake. Yeah, uh, that's what you need to call old wizard funny, isn't it? Why don't you call him? We haven't talked to Fuddy in a long time. Better not, Eddie. He said I should only call him if it were an emergency. Oh, uh, you know, Jake, I, I was just wondering. We always call Fuddy when we have an emergency. Suppose Fuddy had an emergency. Would he be able to call us? I wouldn't worry about that, Eddie. I mean, what kind of trouble could Fuddy possibly get into? Well, Fuddy, I'm leaving for the Wizards Convention now. Uh, do try to stay out of trouble while I'm gone. Uh, I will, Merlin, I will. <laughs> oh, yes. And don't touch that magic staff. You don't know how to control it yet. Leave it alone. Oh, I, oh, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Mind you, do. I forgot my bag. And don't touch that staff. Oh, I won't. I mean, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I say, Gerd. What's Jenny? I say, what, old boy? You're not kidding. Going back in time to King Arthur's age is a long trip. <laughs> well, there you are, you see. <laughs> Quite appears we made it here. <laughs> Blooming castles right down there. And that's where we'll find Merlin. Let's go get him. Right you are, chum. Uh, I know Merlin told me not to touch the magic staff. But how am I ever going to learn how to use it right if I don't practice? Alakazam! Oh, oops! <laughs> I didn't know it was loaded. <laughs> You sure that's Merlin? 
He's awful short. Must be old boy. Who else would be making monsters? <laughs> Good monster. T -t 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 Take it easy. Let's get him. <laughs> no, sit down. No, lie down. Roll over. <laughs> Grab him. Right you are. <laughs> What's going on here? We did it! We captured Merlin the Magician! <laughs> Why, you are, old chap. <laughs> Primeval should be death in peace with us. <laughs> to call Freddy Jake. Have him over for dinner or something. Uh, after all, he's done a lot for us. <laughs> You're right, Eddie. We should do something nice for Buddy. There's a full moon. I'll give him a call. Wizard Fuddy, hear my call. Uh, why don't you come for dinner, y'all? <sighs> well, at least it rhymed. Oh, Jake, nice of you to ask, but I'm afraid I seem to have a previous invitation. <laughs> a couple of bad ghosts are holding me off to one of the nastiest places I've ever seen. They think I'm Merlin, Jake. Help! Sounds like Prime Evil's had Fuddy captured. <laughs> I think you're right, Eddie. And you know what that means? Into uniform! Let's go! Go Thing. As soon as Prime Evil finds out Fuddy's not Merlin, Fuddy's gonna be in even more trouble. You blithering, brainless bumblers! This worthless wizard isn't Merlin! This is just some minor apprentice! You botched it again! Goodness gracious me! Well, you're not a very nice person, are you? No, you idiot! I'm evil! Prime evil! And you are my prisoner! Goodness gracious, with me. 
I do believe this is the most scariest dungeon I've ever seen. <gasps> it's slimy too. Oh, well, at least there aren't any rats. There, hiya, chum. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, a ghost rat. Well, well, I'll take care of you, uh, Ella Kazam. Hey, thanks, Jum. This is great. Uh, I'll never get the hang of this thing. Hey, you did me a favor, and I'm going to do you one. You like jokes? What do you call a mouse on a diet? Hungry! Diet hungry! Don't you get it? Hey! <laughs> That's funny stuff. Good grief, I hope the Ghostbusters find me soon before this rat's bad jokes drive me crazy. Primeval's chamber is right through that door, Tracy. Any sign of Fuddy? Idiot magician, a prisoner in the dungeon. Perhaps we can make a trade. Go and tell Merlin the magician that I will keep his apprentice a prisoner forever unless he turns over all his magic powers to me. <laughs> right away, your despicable <laughs> Jake, did you hear that? I sure did, Eddie. We can't let Merlin give up his powers. We better move fast. But how are we ever gonna find the dungeon, Jake? Here comes our guide, Eddie. Shh. Nab him, Tracy. Okay, okay. We don't need the ghost robot's body, Tracy. We need his head. Hey, hi nice work, Tracy. Scared Stiff will be able to lead us right to the dungeon. I just hope we can rescue Fuddy before Merlin has to give all his powers to Prime Evil. to play with that magic staff. Hey! Just look at this mess. It's hideous. Hey! What about me? You're pretty hideous, too, yes. Delivering Primeval's message may take longer than I thought. Hi uh, there. Excuse me, Urge. But I found scared stiff wandering around, hunt caught us, bumping into things, and brought him to you. I thought he might be sick. Looks different somehow. Yes, he looks more intelligent than usual. He's lost his head, you fool. Why, dash it all, so he has. How did that happen? A minky? 
an ape? The ghosts, the busters! They must be here, trying to rescue that foolish magician! Hunter, get Fangster and Scarecrow! Tell them we're going to bust the ghost Yabusters! <laughs> Okay, Scared Stiff. Now, where's Fuddy? Yeah, speak up unless you want to be rusted solid. No, not water. I'll tell you. He's in there. Ha, into the road. Take out that door, Tracy. No problem. And hurry. No telling what horrible monsters poor old Fuddy's been facing in there. <laughs> No, no more bad jokes. Try this for a punchline, rat. Hey, wait, wait, I got a million of them. Where was the giant ghost rat when the lights went out? In the dark, get it? Ah, 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 ah. Funny, are you all right? Uh, uh, you came just in time. Those jokes were about to turn my brain to mush. Well, there's no time to rest, buddy. We have to get out of here. Too late, ghost bunglers. <laughs> I'm afraid all of you are going to be staying here permanently. <laughs> Looks like busting time, boys. Hit it. with the magic stuff. Honest, I won't do it again. Really, Merlin? I think he's learned his lesson. Well, maybe so. As a matter of fact, I think I'll let him use the magic staff again. Oh, really? When? As soon as we get home, Fuddy. You'll need it. <laughs> to clean up the mess you made. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Looks like this case is all cleaned up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go home. Uh -huh. In today's show, Fuddy did something he wasn't supposed to do and he got into trouble. He knew he wasn't supposed to touch the magic staff, but he did it anyway. 
and as a result, he caught a lot of problems. When your parents make rules, they aren't making them just to spoil your fun. Your parents make rules in order to keep you safe and healthy. And do you know why they do that? Because they love you. See you again soon.